So DaVinci Resolve 20 just dropped recently and with it we got a new and improved depth map. Now I hadn't really used the depth map before as I didn't really find it too useful in my workflow. But now that it's been updated, I've actually used it twice in the last couple of weeks. I thought I'd share with you my current workflow using the depth map and where I think it really shines. Let's have a look. So here I have a beautiful example shot from a recent color grading competition that I took part in. And it was when I was grading this that I realized how powerful this new depth map is. So I've just got my basic setup here. I've done my exposure balance and saturation, and then just a few power windows just to kind of work the light a little bit, just a vignette around those beautiful light rays coming through the window. I wanted to have those light rays really stand out and accentuate her silhouette. And I thought, maybe I'll try out this new depth map because it'd be a great way to isolate her and the flowers from the background and I can kind of work in between those two layers. So if I just turn this depth map node on, you can see just how awesome of an impact it's having on just adding some color and life to those light rays coming through the window there. So let's, uh, let's break down how it's done. I'm just gonna reset this node. We're gonna start by dragging the depth map effect onto our node. And you can see already it's analyzed our scene and provided us a black and white preview of how it perceives the depth in our scene. So this is totally adjustable. All we have to do is just tick on adjust map levels and now with these sliders, we can control our far limit, how far back our selection goes, and our near limit, how close towards the camera we are selecting. So already this is a huge improvement on the last depth map. We've gotten so much more detail in this new version that it's so much more usable now. So what I'm gonna do is as we wanna use the background, I'm going to invert our mat, and I'm gonna play with these far and near limits to select behind our actress and the table and in front of that window. So you can see there, we're getting a pretty good selection between the table and the window there. Now to tidy things up, we can now take post-processing and have a look at the difference that makes in the detail that it captures. If I turn that off and on, you can see in the boy's shirt here, it's just bringing so much of that detail in, especially in the flowers and her hair up here. It just really refines those edges of the mat. So we're getting a pretty good selection now behind the table and in front of that window. So if we turn off our depth map preview now, you can see if we adjusted something like our gain, we're now only affecting behind the table and in front of the window, which is a crazy powerful thing to be able to do. It blows my mind. However, we only want to affect the light rays coming through the window. So what I'm gonna do is grab my curve tool in the power window section. I'm just going to draw an outline not worrying about overlapping with the actress and the flowers because the depth map is doing that work. So just the very rough shape of where the light rays are coming into the room. And now you can see if we adjust our gain, how good is that? Definitely gonna need a bit of softness. So we'll just up that softness a little bit just so it looks natural. Something there is awesome. Just a quick before and after just by adjusting gain. It's made such a huge improvement. And it's treating those edges beautifully as well. There is no, crazy overlapping. It's not even breaking anywhere around her hair. It's just got a really nice soft edge to everything. It makes a huge improvement to the scene, makes her silhouette stand out more. It really brings her and the flowers out from the background. So I hope you found this helpful. It's really opened my eyes around complex power windowing and selections. And I'll definitely be using this tool way more often now. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe for more content like this. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.